All right, we are in Indiana Jones today with the 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte. And just wanted to jump into the settings real quick. We are completely bottomed out. We're going to focus strictly on 1080p in this video. So we're at 1080p. Everything is completely bottomed out, as you can see. Everything's low. Let's get rid of that. Missed one. All right, so let's just make sure that everything is low and that path tracing is off. So this game cannot turn off ray tracing entirely, but you can run the ray tracing on the lowest preset, which does turn off the path tracing. So right here we have uh, path tracing off, which means full ray tracing is basically what that means. All right, so let's jump into it and let's just see where we're at. This is a complete baseline test. So we're at 122 FPS. Uh, things are quite flat. We've got some textures that are you know, leave a lot to be desired here for sure on the low setting, but it is running fine. We've got uh, allocated VRAM at 9.1 gigabytes, which that's very important in this game. This game is incredibly VRAM hungry. So we do have a 16 gigabyte card and um, it is the lower end card, but uh, you know, with that 128 bus, they were able to put uh, four RAM chips um, on with uh, four gigabytes each. So We've got 16, so that's how that worked out. <clears throat> so it's just a little bit of math in there, but it does enable this card to have 16, uh, whereas, you know, the next step up, obviously, is the 5070 with 12. So just something to keep in mind here as we're going through this test. We're going to be looking a lot at that VRAM allocation. All right, so let's jump over here to just go through some of these um, resets. They are, there's a lot of different uh, possibilities here, so I'm just going to stick with the low to medium um, at first, and then just work our way up. I'll have to restart a few times just because of this. That's how this game works, but I'll cut all that out uh, for the video. All right, so we dropped down to 109, 116. So not a lot really changed with that low preset from what we had before. It just bumped up a few things that are included in that uh, low preset. So let's just keep going forward. And if you need to jump ahead, there's going to be timestamps all along the bottom there. So just Check those out uh, if you have a specific thing in mind. So this wants me to restart the game. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then jump back in. All right, we're back at it. So I restarted. Everything should have taken. Let's just double check and everything is set to the medium preset. Still got DLAA on, so no upscaling. And uh, our frame generation is off as well as any sort of path tracing. We're just doing regular ray tracing right now. Can't turn it off. Game's holding up pretty well, though, with these settings. It does look a little bit better. But uh, we're at 9.5 gigabytes of allocated VRAM uh, and running at 102, right at 100 FPS. Really good experience, though. So uh, let's just keep going with these settings and keep seeing what this card can do and kind of where it starts to fall apart. That's what we're kind of trying to answer today. we got to restart again, so I'm going to do that and come back. Okay, and we have restarted, so let's double check, make sure that our settings did take. We should be on the high setting. We are, so this is the high preset. Again, just, just ray tracing, no path tracing, no DLSS, no frame gen. All right, so we drop down to 95, 94. Uh, starting to look a lot better, a little bit more filled in. We are using a little bit more of that VRAM, though. We're at almost 11 gigs on a 1080p experience. Uh, so yeah, you know, this is a VRAM hungry game. It really likes to chew it up. So uh, let's just keep going here. Hopefully it won't make me keep restarting, but if if we do, I'll, I'll restart and come back. Okay, we got to restart again. Great. All right, I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, we're back. We have restarted. Let's double check, make sure that everything is intact like we want it to be. All right, we drop that up to ultra. We still got two more settings to go. All right, so what that did, let's double check, make sure that our um, our ray tracing, path tracing wasn't affected yet. We're still on full ray tracing, no path tracing yet. So native, no upscaling, and no path tracing, but ray tracing. 85 FPS, 86, we're using 11.4 gigabytes of VRAM. So definitely need a 16 gig card to run this title. Um, I don't even think 12 is going to make it if you really want to crank all the settings, you know, all the way out. So that actually makes the 5060 Ti a little bit more appealing than even the 5070 on this title, uh, just because of that VRAM. 
So, you know, keep that in mind when you're shopping. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the next setting looks like. Go into video, and we're just going to go back up and go to very ultra. And we have to restart again, so I will see you in a second. All right, and we're back. Let's double check, make sure our settings are how we want them to be. I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go to options, and let's double check to make sure we are on very ultra, and we are. So this is the very ultra preset. Again, no path tracing, no upscaling. And let's just get the, get, get this uh, started here. Let's just run through our normal little set here, 85 FPS, right at 12 gigabytes of allocated VRAM. So yeah, we're definitely going to need uh, more than 12 if we keep going. And that's before path tracing. Now DLSS will help us out on that VRAM. So let's just keep that in mind too, and we'll see what we get to. All right, let's just go over here and flip it back over. I'll probably have to restart again. This game loves to do that. Very efficient whenever you're trying to do these kind of videos, by the way. Yep, we're going to have to restart. And I will do that, and we'll see you after I restart. All right, and here we are. We are back. Uh, with the Supreme settings. So we are on Supreme here. Everything's cranked all the way up as far as the presets go, and we are still not using path tracing and not using any DLSS. So card's holding up pretty well. We are at 12.4 gigabytes of VRAM, and we're at 85 FPS. Again, this is native, no upscaling no path tracing. So we're doing pretty well. I'm just going to run down here, get some numbers. It's looking pretty pretty solid though i mean this is nothing to sneeze at for sure if you're at 1080p uh you'd have plenty of headroom in most games this game is not the most efficient when it comes to vram but um let's just keep going and start to introduce some of this path tracing and see just what happens when uh we enable that i'm just going to come down here and let's kick that on all right so the medium path tracing medium ray tracing with a little bit of path tracing in there notice we got some stuff that's off right now but for the most part we're going to be okay i think we are we are pretty much hitting that vram though i mean look it's at 15.7 so i would call that saturated um our shared vram is under 921 it's under that one gigabyte it's at 921 megabytes so I mean, that's going to be what we need to pay attention to. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and call it that to go up to the next setting, we're going to have to use DLSS. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just come in here and to stay within that VRAM buffer, because this game loves to crash when it runs out of VRAM, and I'm trying to get through this video for y'all, we're going to turn on DLSS quality. And you're going to notice whenever I do this, the, the, um, the actual... VRAM is going to get a little bit of a break. So let's just go back into it. Very glad I didn't have to restart. So it gave us back about half a gigabyte of VRAM there on the allocation. So this is just DLSS quality. And we're probably going to have to go down to performance because I haven't messed with the ray tracing again. I just wanted to see how much VRAM the DLSS preset gave back to us. So let's just keep going with that DLSS a little bit more before we start to bring in the path tracing. All right, so where was it? DLSS quality. Let's go down to performance. I feel like that's going to give us a little bit of that VRAM buffer back. Uh, not as much as I was hoping. Again, this game just really does not manage VRAM well at all. And as you can see, I'm not sure if it's coming through on YouTube, but it is noticeably a bit blurrier. Just because 1080p upscales from a very low resolution. Um, so it's not like 1440 where you're able to, you know, upscale from 720 at at performance. You're actually upscaling from a very, very low uh, resolution. So the, the AI just doesn't have enough to really use there. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you want to play this game with this card at Supreme, Ultra, all that kind of stuff, you're probably going to have to mitigate your use here of just how much of the ray tracing and path tracing you really want to try to use um, because if you put it on performance, it starts to lose fidelity a little bit. So I'm just going to go back to balanced and just say that this would probably be how I played it, um, balanced with just a little bit of that ray tracing, and that's going to give you 
a little bit sharper, clearer image. And as you can see, we're over 60, which is plenty in this game. So this is how I would probably leave it because if I keep going any further, I'm going to run out of VRAM and the game will crash. So I'm not going to do that. I'm uh, just going to stop the video here because this is about how I would uh, play the game on this card. And this kind of gives you an insight of just how far you can push it before the, the actual card starts to fall apart with these settings. If you enjoyed this video, you like my content, please drop me a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscriptions go a tremendous way for brand new channels like this. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the very next video. Have a good day.